Marilyn Cloud is pretty happy these days. I'm now 77 and uh, five years of, of just being free of any problems. She says she's free of the nightmare of living with severe tremors. You cannot eat, you can't put on makeup, you cannot put a key in a lock to open the door. An electrode in her brain is stopping the tremors right now. Watch as she draws a spiral shape and writes her name with ease. It looks clear and is easy to read. Marilyn wants more patients to learn about the procedure that's changed her life. Okay, here we go. So she's bravely showing us what happens when that electrode is deactivated. It's very difficult to verbalize what this feels like. It was easy for Marilyn to draw the circle and write her name just moments ago. Now it seems nearly impossible. I got gotcha. you. Hey. There we go. The switch is turned back on. There we go. And it's back on again. Thank you. And you're welcome. Neurological surgeon Dr. David Van Sickle used deep brain stimulation, or DBS, to stop Marilyn's tremors at Littleton Adventist Hospital, one of the few in the nation equipped for this technique. He is the first in the world to use robotics to get a pinpoint view of the brain in order to perform what's called a sleep DBS. Brain surgery is scary enough. It's a lot easier to go through um, the surgery if, if you're asleep during the process. They still have the disease, but they can go about their life and do normal things, and that you know, that's neat. You can't tell, but two electrodes here on the top of Marilyn's head communicate with a chip inside her brain. They're controlled by a transmitter inside her chest area. Patients also have a communicator that allows them to play a role in controlling their tremors. DBS is also used to treat epilepsy and obsessive compulsive disorder. But these uses are mostly in the testing phase, along with other areas being explored by surgeons. Weight loss is an upcoming indication that that might make us uh, um, really happy because a lot of people would want it for weight loss. It's chilling to see the difference DBS can make. At the time I had this done, I was still able to eat, but it was, you know, soup was out of the question. Marilyn says she hopes more physicians will follow Dr. Van Sickle's lead. Even my own general physician said, well, maybe your symptoms will get better. And he was stunned when he saw they were gone. Shaw Turner, Fox 31 Denver.